Right, hey guys, how we doing? Back with another video from Too Spooky, random one. I found a list of videos that I wanted to check out a while ago, <laughs> and uh, this was on it. 50 things you probably didn't know about Yu Yu Hakusho. Hey, that rhymes. Um, I really enjoyed Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, it's only been like this year, this last year that I watched it, and obviously I watched Tottenham Mark's reviews and things, and I'm thinking, check this out, and then I do believe there are random facts about the characters in Yu Yu Hakusho and that, so we could potentially check them out if you guys are interested. But uh, yeah, let's go for this initial one, which is 50 things you probably didn't know about Yu Yu Hakusho that came out eight years ago. Bloody hell. How is it going, everybody? Too, Too spooky, spooky here. <laughs> and welcome back to the week of 50s. And if you don't know what the week of 50s is, we recently hit 50,000 subscribers. Oh, okay. That's and because cool of that, we're Wow, look at that old layout! We now a wow. video every single we'll go back day in time. for the whole week. And unfortunately, today is the last day of the week of 50s. It was fun while it lasted, but everything must come to an end eventually. But on that note, as soon as we hit 101,000 subscribers, the week of 101. Right, so is that why the 101's happened? All right, okay. Be coming. So tell your friends, and let's get that sub count rolling. Let's but go. anyways, guys, today we're going to be counting down 50 facts about Yu Yu Hakusho. This video was suggested by four of you guys, and <laughs> kind of that guy, but not really. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for the suggestion. Quite a few other people suggested this on other videos, so it was definitely a work in progress. Okay. Anyways, thank you all for suggesting get it, to it the and I hope facts. you enjoy the video. Before we get started, I should ah. just let you guys know <laughs> that my pronunciation is absolutely terrible. So just be warned that I will probably mispronounce a couple things in this video. Wait, too spooky. Yes, Bane, what is it? <laughs> I should probably warn you that I, uh, I haven't actually seen Yu Yu Hakusho. No! I'm quite knowledgeable about the other videos we've done this week, but I've just never seen this one. That's it's okay, baby. So I'll try to explain things watching. when they're necessary. Number one. Yu Yu Hakusho was created by Yoshihiro Togashi, and the manga ran from December of 1990 to July of 1994 consisting of 175 chapters in a total of 19 volumes. Number 2. The manga was so well received that it was adapted into an anime which ran from October 10th of 1992 through December 17th of 1994, accumulating a total of 112 episodes. Number 3. And it's so worth watching. It's really, really, really good. I really enjoyed it. The manga has sold 50 million copies to date. Number four. Whoa, well, that was like eight years ago. Holy bloody Jesus. There were also two films released. The first was simply called Yu Yu Hakusho and was released in Japan on July 10th of 1993. I was about to say, are they recap movies, but it doesn't seem it because I don't recognize these characters. Oh, I've not seen the movie. As part of a seasonal film festival. The second film was called Yu Yu Hakusho, Chapter of Underworld's Carnage, Bonds of Fire and was released in Japanese theaters on April 9th of 1994. This film was later renamed Yu Yu Hakusho, the movie. Poltergeist, Poltergeist Report, Report for the English dub. Number 5. The creator of Yu Yu Hakusho and the creator of Sailor Moon are actually married. I love that. Number 6. Yusuke's first name means ghost helper, while his last name... Hey, that's so wicked! ...name is a phrase that is said by dead spirits in Japanese folklore. But why, though? I honestly have no idea. Uh, to spook ya, maybe? <laughs> Number seven. So apparently the Filipino dub of the anime is basically a joke amongst the anime community. Well, Again! But why, though? Yeah, but why, though? Bane, you never let me finish. Because apparently <laughs> they gave every character a new name, and they are completely ridiculous. What, so they just renamed the cast? No! Like, let's just go over the four main characters here. Okay. Yusuke is named Eugene. <laughs> I love it. Hie is fucking named Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Kuwabara is named Alfred, <laughs> and they initially thought Kurama was female, so they named him Denise. <laughs> once Denise! Why would they even pick Denise? <laughs> All the female names she could pick. <laughs> Please don't tell me they changed it to Dennis. Please don't tell me they changed it to Dennis. As they were complete pine cones, they renamed Kurama Dennis. <laughs> I just wanted to expand on this Filipino dub name shenanigans one more time real quick. So just like Kurama was confused with a female, Genkai was renamed to Master Jeremiah because they confused her as, as a, a man. man. Oh, no. Like, how bad can these guys fuck up here? That's also, so Botan funny. was named Charlene. They called him Denise. <laughs> like, oh, it's a boy. Let's call him Dennis from now on. <laughs> Oh my god, give me a minute. I haven't laughed this hard in so long, that's so funny! I need to sit down. Just watching just this video has made it worse. Nine. <laughs> Ironically enough, the music artist who composed a lot of Yu Yu Hakusho's music is also named Yusuke. Oh, Number 10. Interesting. Kuwabara means mulberry field, which according to <sighs> Chinese legend, mulberry trees cannot be struck by lightning. Because oh. of this, saying Kuwabara twice is supposed to ward off lightning bolts. And hey. it is also sometimes spoken as a means of warding off ghosts in Japan. Yo, know, Kuwabara is my, f my favorite. Kuwabara is so sick. Number 11. Despite his outward appearance and childish ways, Koenma is actually over 600 years old. Uh, what the fuck is this series? He's a toddler for Christ's sake. <laughs> Number 12. <laughs> Suzuki claims to have 999 techniques he can use, although we only see a handful of these and will probably never know never what the remaining it. techniques mm. are. Mm. Number 30. It's like he did that, didn't do Spooky do the whole um, Kakashi, d does he actually have a thousand jutsus? Or did he ever use a thousand jutsus? And actually went through the whole series to like, tell all the jutsus. I thought that was boss. Mm. Botan's ability to stay in the physical realm is slightly different in the anime than it is in the manga. In the anime, she says she has a human body, which is like a container of sorts, that allows her soul to interact. Yet, when called back to the spirit realm, she simply changes out of this container and flies back. In the manga, right. though, the container body is left behind instead of being just a change of clothes and is immobile while her spirit flies back, oh. only reanimating once she returns. Number 14. It's a bit strange. Kurama has black hair and a blue uniform in the manga, but the anime animators chose red hair with a pink uniform instead, Why? mainly to circle around the fact he is based loosely on a fox. Number oh, 15. Oh, okay, alright. In both the Japanese and English dub versions of the anime, Kuwabara's spirit sword has a similar sound effect to the lightsaber weapon of the Star Wars franchise mm -hmm. when it is activated. <laughs> Number 16. <laughs> the four saint beasts are named after the mythological figures representing the four cardinal directions in Sino-Japanese myth. Genbu okay. is north, Biako is west, Seiryu is east, and Suzaku is south. Okay. Number 17. Groovy. According to Kikyo, Yusuke doesn't know how to whistle. Number 18. Kuwabara is the only one of the four main characters of Team Yurameshi that never killed a demon that was named, or basically killed a main antagonist. Number 19. Huh. When the younger Togoro volunteered to go to hell for eternal suffering, this played out slightly different in the anime. In the anime, they changed hell to Limbo. You know, because everything is so censored. Oh! Number 20. Kazemaru's so Buddhist oh. manji symbol was removed in the English dub due to its resemblance to a Nazi swastika. Mm, Number 20. That, that happens quite so often. Koto is actually not a fox like everyone thinks. Instead, she is a cat demon. Number 22. Oh. Elder Tagoro is the longest lasting antagonist in the series. From his True. debut in the last part of the Spirit Detective arc until near the end of the chapter Black arc. Number 23. Back, 
Ryzen's name translates to Thunder Buddhism, which is likely a reference to how he can fast for centuries without eating impurities, okay. having a whole army of monks, and being as strong and as swift as lightning, Absolute which legend. is a reference to Thunder. Number 24. You know, too spooky. I don't know anything about Yu Yu Hakusho, yet this Kurama guy sounds very familiar. But I can't figure out why. Yeah, wait, the Naruto head well, it's probably because Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto, named the nine-tailed fox Kurama after Kurama from Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh. Because Kurama is based on a fox, fox so and you that know, right. nine-tailed right. fox. It was a clever nod on Kishimoto's part. Number 25. In the anime adaptation, Mukuro's There was a random Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the background there. ...sex story is changed to exclude the parts about her being a sex slave, and that she was simply an abandoned child found by Chiku and taken in for slavery. Oh. Togashi has even stated that Mukuro is one of his favorite characters, and he had desired to write more about her abuse before the series ended. Number 26. Uh. Itsuki is also one of author Togashi's favorite characters. He stated after the series ended that he wishes he had been able to expand on the character's twisted psych. He also noted the portion Psyche. of the plot where Itsuki speaks inside the reverse man to be his favorite of the series because it reflects how Togashi was feeling at the time. Number 27. That's the one. Botan is based on Charon the Ferryman of the River Styx from Greek mythology. Number 28. Kurama has a running gag in his fights where he is usually crippled in some way during these fights. For instance, Genbu wounds him in the stomach so he could no longer fight for the duration of the mission. Mm -hmm. Roto holds a button, threatening to send a signal to his demon brother to kill Kurama's mother if he yeah, fought back. Yeah. Gama anchors down Kurama's arms and legs with his paint-based sealing techniques. Toya faces him while his power is sealed away by Gama's final technique. Yura Yurashima tricks him into being exposed to the Iden box. Though this last one worked in Kurama's favor, it still counts. Yeah. Number 29. When Genkai is holding a tournament to select her successor, a lot of Street Fighter characters, or at least characters based on them, can be seen standing in the crowd, such as Ryu and Chun-Li. Among oh. a few others. Very Number cool. 30. Hiei is the only main character who never used life energy during a fight. Number 31. <laughs> Kuwabara is the only member of Team Yurameshi to participate in every single round of the Dark Tournament. Number 32. Oh, they so cool, were visually inspired off of the surrealist art style of H.R. Geiger. Number 33. Bayako is the only saint beast that is not killed by his opponent, who is Kuwabara, though he was later killed by Siryu. Number 34. Oh yeah! Sensui's seven. Oh, like, he runs in like, oh my god, that, 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 that beat me, help me, and then he goes, no, and then that guy doesn't last very long either. It's like, oh, okay, whoa. <laughs> and each represent one of the seven deadly sins. Kamaya is wrath, oh. Akihara is gluttony, Hagiri is pride. Mitarai is Envy, Amanuma is Sloth, Itsuki is Lust, and Elder Tagoro is Greed. While Sensui himself is supposed to symbolize the man without sin, hence his title of the Black Angel. Number 35. Yeah. Kurama is the only main character among the four who doesn't go shirtless during any battle. I seriously don't know what it is about characters in this series going shirtless. It happens way too often. Uh, I'm looking uh, at you, Hiei. <laughs> Number th <Stop>. 36. <laughs> Chu's name directly translate to Sake, which is a reference right. to him being the drunken fighter. Love it. Number 37. In the manga, it is said that Botan's favorite holiday is Christmas. Nice. Number 38. Yusuke Day is the, the youngest though. human ever to obtain S-Class energy levels. Oh. Number 39. Oh, it was nice. stated by Togashi that Itsuki and Sensui were in an intimate relationship. In the anime, it is clearly stated that Itsuki and Sensui's personality, Naru, were romantically involved. You definitely did However, get a vibe or something. However, it was not in the manga. Number 40. Although Ryzen was at equal power with both Yomi and Mukuro at his dying time, if Ryzen had eaten humans up to these current events, oh, right, yeah. he would have dominated over Yomi and Makuro. Definitely. Shigure states that Makuro was only using a little bit more than half of her power in the tournament, which most likely means her power at only slightly over half at her maximum potential is equal to Ryzen's friends, 
Therefore, it is extremely likely that Ryzen in his prime years is the strongest character in the series. In the whole thing. Since yeah. it was confirmed he is more than twice as powerful than the combined might of Yomi, Makuro, and his old friends. Number 41. Nah, Bui nah. is the only remaining member of Team Tagoro, aside from the Elder Tagoro, though he is imprisoned forever, so I'm not sure if that counts. Hmm. Number 42. Togashi originally wanted to make Kurama a female, and the author wanted Hiei and Denise. Kurama to be a thing. <laughs> not sure why he changed his mind, but I'm glad he did. Yeah. Number 43. Chu's fighting style, Sui Ken, is based on the Kung Fu style, Zui Quan. The fighting style Ooh, mimics the movements of a drunkard in order to confuse the opponent and strikes with unpredictable punches and kicks. Number 44. In episode 22, Hiei gives Yusuke, Botan, and Kuwabara a video to watch. Koenma then parodies the beginning of Columbia Pictures spelling it with his oh, own yeah. name. And then he uses his name again to parody Metro Goldwyn Mayer. <laughs> Number 45. Both Kurama's and Hiei's names simply popped into Togashi's head when he was developing the characters. Number 46. Look that. Togashi came oh, okay. up with Kuwabara's name by combining the names of two professional baseball players, which were Natsume Kuwabara and Kazuma Kakura. Number 47. Rando is the only one of Yusuke's enemies, aside from Hiei at the time, to be alive after their fight. Number 48. <laughs> Shishi Wakamaru, Chu, Toya, Jin, and Suzuki were all considered upper A rank demons. However, after training with Genkai, they are all now considered to be S rank demons. Number 49. Kurama is the only fighter on Team Urameshi to technically lose in the finals against Team Tagoro. And the moment you've all been waiting number for... 50. Number 50. So I'm sure most of you guys know this already, but Togashi went on to make another manga called Hunter x Hunter after this one. Hunter Hunter. Well, I noticed something the other day that you guys might not have caught. In episode 41 of Hunter x Hunter, oh! Neon has poo on her keychain. But there you have it, everybody. 50 now that is cool. Yu Yu Hakusho. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today, and hopefully you guys learned something. If you did, make sure to leave a like. But that's not all. If you leave a like on this video, there is a point zero zero five percent chance that you will become a spirit detective along with all the powers that come with now, it. Now, wouldn't that, that is be right. cool? You could be a spirit detective with S-class energy levels. So essentially, you'd be really strong. But the chances are very slim. If you are one of the lucky few, a gigantic S will appear on your wall. And then it'll start glowing. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. The week of 50s may be over, but we've got plenty more. Honestly, here. For 101 facts. Fair enough. Cool. That, I'm sorry. That, 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 that Karama naming bit really made <laughs> so funny. I might clip that and put it on uh, on the old TikTok. But um, yeah, I just thought it would be a cool video to check out. And if you guys want me to check out more um, old Too Spooky videos about the characters I'm seeing here next to it, there's 10 things you probably didn't know about Hiei and um, other stuff. So... <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh. Thank you to my patrons. If you're going to have your name at the end of every video and want to be able to watch patron-only reactions such as the original Dragon Ball series, link in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar month is the last hell spot challenge. Greatly appreciate Thanks for that. Thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of that? If you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe, haven't really. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch because of future videos. I'll see you guys all you guys next time.